I'm going to be talking a little bit about the uh, thermal imaging guns, many different uh, companies that make these and there's a wide variety of qualities and uh, temperature ranges that these come in. This is a Craftsman 500 degree. It's rated between negative 4 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and then the uh, Celsius equivalent for that. So on the display if we pull the trigger uh, we can see that whatever I'm pointing it is at 22.7 degrees Celsius. We can switch it to Fahrenheit. 73.2. We can switch the uh, the laser on there so you can kind of aim it and there's also a backlight so if you're uh, in a darker area you can still see what you're looking at so this pop can for instance we're at 72.6 degrees propane fuel 71.9 degrees and this old wheel cylinder you can see as I'm heating it up the temperature is going to continue to rise And if I aim it a little bit away. So this thing is fairly accurate. If I take it off, the temperature will uh, come back down a little bit as it cools off. If I point it at the wall over here, it's 85 degrees outside, so that's what it's reading off the garage door. And if I point it at the ground down there, it's a, con or a cement slab, so it's a little bit cooler, and it's reading about 60 degrees on the floor. So, even from across the room, it still uh, accurately reads uh, the temperature that you're going for. There are countless numbers of uses for these infrared thermometers, and the main reason I got this one is because I live in a older house, which is not insulated as well as it could have been and this helped me go around to all the walls and the windows and find which areas I needed to seal up a little bit better and saved me a bunch of money on my heating bill and it'll probably save me a bunch of money on air conditioning as well this summer. The other reason I got this is so I could actually uh, verify uh, in my videos if something is warmed up, if it's not warmed up, if it's been sitting all night I can point this at the muffler. This muffler down there on this lawnmower, I can point it down there. And it's a cool 62 degrees, so we know that this engine hasn't been running. And if I wanted to demonstrate how well this engine started up from a cold start, I could do that. And there would be no question at all that this engine is indeed cool. You can't really catch temperature very well through a video. If I had an engine, uh, let's say a V6 or a V8 out of some car, and it was running rough, um, and I suspected a dead cylinder, I could just uh, point this around all the cylinders, and if one showed a little bit cooler, then we know that that cylinder isn't firing properly, and it's not working properly either mechanically, or it has a fuel issue, or something else like that. Uh, it's a really easy way to identify uh, which cylinder is dead, or it's an easy way to rule that out too. Things like adjusting the valve lash on either your car or any of these small engines or whatever it may be, they, the engine is supposed to be room temperature cool as a cucumber when adjusting them. And if the engine has been running, this helps me check it and make sure that it is as cool as it needs to be. Make sure it's under a certain temperature before I start working on it so I can actually adjust them and get an accurate measurement out of it. Is the space heater really worth what I paid for it? We'll point the gun at it and see how much heat it's producing and see if it's actually uh, living up to what it's supposed to be. So of course uh, there's a zillion different uses for these and everybody that gets one will probably use it a little bit differently. Some people use these things out with their grills to make sure that the grill is hot enough or at the correct temperature for whatever they're making. It's a cheap easy way to do that because the grill thermometers are not always very accurate. So as you can see there's a countless number of uses for these infrared thermometers. You just have to get creative and find your own. For how cheap you can pick them up nowadays, it's well worth it just to go get one and you'll have it when you need it.